How does she seem these days? Beginning to get over it? I suppose so. Although I always hate the days when I know she'll be home first. She'll be all right, Kate. She's coping marvellously. I know. She didn't even mind when we had to move house. I won't come in. Not tonight. We're managing all right, aren't we? Of course we are. Dad would be proud of us. I told him I'd look after you. Soon be the holidays. We've got to do something about you. Post me off somewhere like a parcel. That's an idea. Registered, of course. Of course. Wonder what it would cost. What stamp you'd have to stick on me. And where would you stick it? Somewhere appropriate. I'm sure you would. There is somewhere I could send you. Timbuktu. Belton. To Aunt Mary. Not really, Aunt. Only your godmother. But you'd love oh, it, Mum, no. You could help Aunt Mary in the shop. But Aunt Mary, ugh. I hardly even know her. And what about you? You'll be lonely. I shan't have time. Too much work. It won't be forever, Minty. I'll come up and see you whenever I can, I promise. Oh, Mum, I shall miss you. Sometimes I get frightened. Since Dad died. Things don't seem... safe anymore. So there you are. I was beginning to wonder. Oh. You haven't grown another three inches. Five centimetres, actually. I've been holding my breath to stop myself growing. I think it's working. Oh. Come along in. I've put her in the same room you used to have, Kate. Oh, I wish I'd like that. Well, take these up. You remember where it is? It's the door facing you at the top of the stairs. Look at that view. It's exactly as I remember it. The church and everything. The views don't move, Mum. Especially churches. Oh, isn't it lovely? Don't you think so, Minty? Yes, lovely. So Aunt Mary's memory patchwork. She made it herself from scraps of dresses, curtains from the old days. They never threw anything away. Some of these must have belonged to her mother or her grandmother even. So it's full of memories for her. You better be careful with it. I've always thought of Belton as a... as a happening kind of place. Happening? Oh, it was ages ago when I was little and stayed here. I always had the feeling, I don't know, as if something was happening. Ghosts, you mean? Haunted? That sort of thing. I never actually saw anything. But I shall. If there's anything here, I shall know.
so cold. What, today? In this particular place, I mean. It's in the shade, I suppose. More than in the shade. The gardens are through there. Shall we go in? No, not today. A going away present. Oh, headphones, please, <laughs> Mum. Well, I didn't think Aunt Mary would want to listen to your sounds from morning to night. <laughs> Come to think of it, I'll rather miss them. Come on. It won't be forever. Bye-bye, sweetie. Bye. Now be good. <laughs> made a jelly. Children like jellies. Oh, I love jelly, especially orange. You get started, dear. Whatever shall I say? Never in all my life. Something oh, the matter, Aunt Mary? Dreadful, quite dreadful. I don't my know. My mum. It's nothing to do with my mum. Yes, there's been an act. Oh. Of lorry, he said. Oh. Oh. John, a Mr. Benson from your mother's office. He's going round to the hospital now. Oh, I want to go. Can I go? Uh, not for the moment, dear. They're taking tests and things. Head injuries, he said. Well, that's the main trouble, anyway. Well, why can he go and not me? Well, she's my mother. Yeah. I want to go. Yes. I want to. Now, don't get yourself worked up, dear. He's coming here to fetch us both. And when? Oh, in about an hour, he said. Now, come along. It may not be as bad as all that. Now, why don't you watch television for a bit? Take your mind off things. What can't be cured must be patiently endured. Can I go out? Where? Where would you go? Mm -hmm. yes, I don't know, anywhere. Well, there's nowhere much to go. It's miles. Oh, but you mustn't go out to the village. Not on your own. Now, you must promise me that. I'm responsible for you. But I must do something. Well, why don't you go over to the house? See if World's there at the lodge. Nice here. It likes children. Hello there. Not one has been left behind, are you? No, I live here. For a while, anyway. With an aunt. Mrs. Byer. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard about you. So what's your name? Minty. Minty Kane. That's a funny old name. Minty. Short for Araminta. At least it's not two a penny. Oh, no, it's not that. 
gone to meet the children, I dare say. What children? That'll be for you to find out. You mean there are children living in that house? I didn't think anyone lived there. Not anymore. I didn't say anything about living. You mean ghosts? I didn't say that either. But the moment I set eyes on you, I knew. That's her, I thought. That's the one to turn the key. What key? To set them free. Those children I've known for 60 years or more, only in snatches, mind. Glimpses and voices crying. Crying? Because they're locked up and begging and crying to be set free. I can hear their voices in the wind. Sense them in the shadows. And I fear apes sometimes because they're there begging me and I haven't got the key. But now you've come. Yes, I've come. Listen, Minty, she's going to be all right. I'm sure she is. It doesn't matter if you talk to her. In fact, it's good if you do, but nothing too sudden. What's your name? Minty. Well, don't be frightened, Minty. Talk to her if you want. Her name is Kate. Of course. Come along, dear. You'll feel better if you have something to eat. I won't. Not with Mum. Come along, Minty. Look, it's a beautiful day outside. Why don't you want to talk about it? Well, there's no point. No sense in getting morbid. But I want to talk about it. Look, when Dad died, Mum said we were to talk about it all we wanted. And we did. Sometimes it made us cry. But it always got less and less bad. It will be a long morning for you.
sorry. Blimey. What's up with you? I ain't never seen one that talk before. Who are you? I've seen ghosts before, you know. Well, bits and bobs of things, anyway. In broad daylight, place your nose in your face. Not me. Hey, what do you mean, ghosts? You're the ghost. Oh, yeah. I'm a ghost, all right. That's why Cook just told me to run for some raspberries. Run here, run there. Wish I was a blessed ghost. And I've just come over from my Aunt Mary's house, and I don't think I imagined that. Who's Queen, then? Elizabeth, of course. Ah, Victoria. God bless her. You're a bit of a letdown for a ghost, ain't you? I'd best be off getting raspberries if I don't want to whack him. Wait! I've got a brilliant idea. What? Let's shake hands. <laughs> Why? Well, don't you see? Whichever one of us is a ghost won't be able to. Not properly. Ghosts go through things. They're not solid. They're not the odd era. Mine going straight through yours. If that makes you shudder. It won't. It'll be the other way round. If I dare do it, why don't you? Bless if I've even got a girl. In. Both real. What's your name? Tom. Short for Edward. <laughs> Mine's Minty. Short for Penelope. How old are you? Twelve of us, I suppose. Don't you know? Near enough, I do. You've only got to ask your mother. Then. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise. I'm a pa. An orphan. Got brothers and sisters, though. I am glad. I wish I had. Not that it matters. You never see them. Why not? I'm here, see. They're there. In London. Two of them's dead, anyhow. Don't you miss them? A bit. I miss our Dory a bit. Funny now that she is. Makes me laugh. How old is she? Seven or eight about. Try to keep it with me, I did. They said she was too little. Still, once I'm a footman, I'll have her here, all right? Hey, you! What's your name, boy? You come and them rows with her, ain't you? Birds have had hours out of already. Oh, I'm coming now, sir. New from London, ain't you? I ain't never heard of dawn in London, I dare say. Or birds. Birds get up at dawn, what you know. Birds go peck, 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 what did I do to make time jump? All those years? A hundred at least. The sundial. Why have you come? What's wrong? Minty, there's nothing wrong. 
She's better. She's woken up. No, but it's all right, Minty. She's still lying there, then? Yes. Mr. Benson's been at the hospital with her all night. Why? Why were you? People only stay all night at the hospital if... Now, you mustn't talk like that, dear. I'm sure Kate is doing beautifully. Isn't she, Mr. Benson? She'll soon be as right as Ray. What I've come to say, Minty, is that I think you ought to come to the hospital again. No, I... I can't. Not with her like that. When I was little, I used to think this place was haunted. Haunted? Well, not as such, of course, but... As if I was just on the edge of something. Oh. A bird, I suppose. I don't seem to understand about glass, birds. Silly things. Made you jump, didn't it? What a dreadful shock you've had. It's been dreadful for you. Try not to worry. I'm sure everything will turn out well in the end. You go and have a look at the house, dear. Take your mind off things. Just tell them who you are. You'll be all right. Boys come out to play, the moon to shine as bright as day. 
Leave your supper and leave your treats and join your playfellows in the streets. for you everywhere. Days have tried to get you back. What do you mean? It was only this morning. Days back. I should know. I'm the one that lives here. You ain't. You ain't neither scullery nor house nor anything else. So don't go telling me any year till Miss Minty short for Penelope. No, I'm not. Of course I'm not. And why should I pretend, eh? After all, I'm for the present. It's you that's from the past. I don't know what you're talking about. Present? I mean now. Now? What's now? This is now. This free minute. Look, see that? Yes. So it's now, ain't it? Now for you. And now for me. And it's now for you, because you're a ghost. Don't say that. Well, maybe not to me. But old Max never saw you the other day. The gardener. Get me a proper wallet then. I saw him. I actually touched him. And then... Then what? Well, he vanished. And you did. There you are then. Only he didn't vanish from me. I don't know, I wish he had. Why did you want to see me again? Just wanted to talk to her, I suppose. Told you. Dorian and the rest stopped in London. Had any news about Dory? Bit. Coachman gave me a message. Staying in Omar Barker, she is. Not what that means. What? Bits of crust, that's what. And that's if she's lucky. The night and day? Gutter picking. She's only little. Yeah. Ran any taller, have I? Since you saw me. Not so you'd notice, no. <coughs> <coughs> well, I think you might have grown a bit now I look at you. <coughs> I've been mad. Yeah. Why are you dressed like that if you're a girl? What's your job? I haven't got one exactly. But did I get you from? Still. At least you don't go running off like the other one. What other one? Oh, you ain't my only ghost, you know. Don't you think it? Who's the other one, then? More. More a real ghost than you. Always at night when I see her. Littler than you. And dressed like a proper little girl with skirts. What's her name? Sarah. She's scared when she sees me. <laughs> As if I was a blessed ghost. I've seen her too. Just now. What? In broad daylight? No. It was night when I saw her. Like you said. Not my night. Or yours. It was her night. Yeah. 
go, boy! It's him! Mags! Tom! Wait! I'm coming! Self legs like lumpy porridge. Let's make a dash for it. You coming? They'll not see you. Not daylight, ghost. Still. Take this. Don't run. Walk. Hey, boy! Pick that up! Leave it! Sorry, sir. You get back where you belong! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm invisible, the bucket might not have been. <coughs> Tell you what, let's find out. Find out what? If they can see ya. You come into the kitchen, I dare ya. Okay. You're spunky, I'll say that. Might be hard to worry a bit. Come on. Here, you drop that dripping pan. You thieving miss. You know who's dripping that is? Oh, Mrs. Crump, I was only... Don't you give me any of your own, miss, miss. You get on and scour them pots, do you hear? Else I'll scour you. Nobody's noticed me. What was that wink? Please, ma'am. Nothing, ma'am. Wink, wink, wink. I ain't having no winking in my kitchen, do you hear? You ain't here to wink. You ain't paid 30 shillings a year to wink. You come along with me and I'll put you where you can wink yourself blind. See them bottles is dusted and tidied while you're about it. There. And I'll have this one locked as well.
know. Hello, Minty. Hello. Hello, Mum. It's me, Minty. Don't go away, please. Why do you sit down, Minty? Aunt Mary sends her love. So do I. Where is she? What can I say to make her come back? Um, I've had an idea. I'm going to tell you a story. It's a true story of what's happening to me. I don't even know what the end will be. Lucky you like this, else I wouldn't be telling you at all. better take it. You'll be going back before I do. Well, as soon as you've got a tape ready, give me a ring, right? But if you want to go yourself, I'll come right away. Thanks. Thank you. you pick, the more they grow. Well, how did you find your mother today, dear? Is that true about the roses? Oh, yes. Yes, you, you wait and see. Oh, I've had ever such an exciting morning. I've had a visitor. Oh, who? That's such an interesting person, a Miss Raven. Doing some research, she says, on a book she's writing. About ghosts, of all things. Ghosts? Here? At the house. Are there any? Well, there are stories about the Queen's bedroom. You know how tales spring up around old places. But nothing about children. Children? Oh, no, dear. Anyway, she wants to stop here for a while to investigate, she says. Oh, bless me, I haven't told you the most exciting news of all. She's going to stop here with us. We've got a lodger. asking things. A lot of women come here asking things. But I dare say you mean the one who calls herself Raven. I told her nothing. She's the sort of woman I wouldn't tell the time of day to. Told her nothing. Good. But she's coming to stay. 
Looking for ghosts, she says. It'll be the children she's after. And it's for you to save them. How? How can I? I told you. You're the one who has the key. Found them yet, have you? Yes. One. The orphan, and now another. But I don't really... I will save them. I will. son or daughter of anyone. Sad. Do you think she'll like those pictures? Yeah, lovely. photos in my room. Oh, well, she could have those. I don't mind having that one. Oh, I've already shown her those. You mean she's been in my room? Oh, yeah, she was very interested in them. Though I do wish you'd keep your room a bit tidier, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise it was open to the public. That, Minty, isn't an overly polite thing to say. But I'll make allowances in the circumstances. It's all been very upsetting for you. But it'll all come out for the best in the end. I'm sure it will, dear. Oh, Mum, I do love you. And I miss you. I can't tell you how odd it feels to be talking to you and you not to be there. But I've got the story to tell. It's a true one of what's happening to me here in Belton. In a funny kind of way, it's as if it's your story too. Like it's an adventure we both have to go through together before you come back. And now you'll have to wait till the next instalment. Who is the mysterious hooded child? And why do we only see her at night? <laughs> and who is the sinister Miss Raven? The ghost hunter. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> She's probably the most harmless old duck in the world. She probably sits crocheting tea cosies for bring and buy sales when she's not looking for ghosts. And has a hot water bottle and wears lace-up shoes. A dear old lady. A harmless old bat. <laughs> tonight. I'll go tonight before she gets here.
still night. Devil's child. <sighs> Looks like a nightmare. I hope you're not having nightmares. I'll set her free. I absolutely swear I will. Her and you. Are you listening? I'm going to go straight back there now. I might not find her. I don't even know how the Moondar works. I'm well, not for sure anyway. But at least I can try. Yeah. 
That it's who I am, old world. They all call me that. World, I wanted to ask you if you know anything about the, the sundial, the one in the U Park. Oh, I can't say I do. Interested in it, are you? Uh, I wanted to know about the, uh, the two figures, the man and the boy. I tell you what, I have got a book on sundials. I've had it since I was a lad. I'll fetch it. Oh, great, thank you. There, you learn a lot from that. I did the queerest thing, stuck in my mind all these years. What sort of things? Well, for instance, clock time is mean time. But sundial time is what they call apparent time. But the only real time, exact time, is star time. Star time? Do you mean moon time? Moon time? Oh, I ain't heard of that one, but the moon and the stars, they come out together. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ah, but I do. You'll make sure no one listens to it, won't you? Don't worry, I will. She's going to get better, isn't she? You're not just saying it. Don't worry. She's coming back to us, slowly. And this... We'll probably start showing on the screens the minute she hears it. Oh, will it? If it does, you'll ring me and tell me, won't you? Of course. Promise. You're lonely. No, I just miss Mum. Not for much longer. Ravens here to investigate Belton, as I told you, Minty. Looking for ghosts. Hello. <laughs> Though I don't know what you'll find, I'm sure. Oh, if there's anything to find, I shall find it. I have a nose for ghosts. Oh, well, of course. If it's your job. And what about you, Araminta? Perhaps you've seen something. Well, she's not been here five minutes. Children have to be watched. I often think of them as spies. She's hardly been in the house. Runs around the gardens all day, don't you, Minty? Ah, oh, the gardens. Then later, Araminta, you can show me the gardens. Should we go there? Along the terrace, I think. Oh, no. You seem a very silent child. Don't. 
feel anything. Feel? I feel a bit hot. I think you know what I mean. I have special kinds of powers, and those powers are telling me that there is some kind of presence here. Where? I can't see anything. I didn't say see. Ah! Oh, it's a sundial. Oh, is it? I hadn't noticed. I wonder what the two figures represent. The church. I must see that. And now I think the moon doll will take me whenever I ask it. I want us three to meet. Me, Tom, and Sarah. I feel we're all part of a pattern. A story. And you are too, Mum even though you're not here. So I'm going to get up really early tomorrow at dawn. I set my alarm for six. The garden will probably be as empty then as it is at night. <gasps> Talking to yourself. Supper time, Araminta. into Cain. I know you can't tell me my name, but I know you've got one. And now, you know what I want, don't you? Daisy. Daisy. That's what this is in the book. 
close at night and open in the day. You and me are opposites, Daisy. I curl up in the day and come out at night. You're my midsummer wish, Daisy. To see you open in the sun. Never look, never. But what if I shut my eyes? And then wash my face in the water. What if it was a kind of spell for Midsummer's Day? No, wait. Feels the same. Oh, but what if it isn't? How can I tell? I daren't look down. I daren't. Sarah! Sarah, stop! Please stop! No! No! If we don't get after her, well, we've lost her. Oh, but she thinks we're like those others. She thinks we're after her. Well, we are, aren't we? I mean, really after her. Oh, Tom, did you see? Kind of devil. Don't say that. Not devil. Quick, she can't see us now. I know what they call you, but you're not. I've got the devil's mark. Sarah! It's her. Here we go, I'm coming. Oh, devil! How dare you! What have I told you? Devil! You little devil! You little devil! devil. Consider what my own life is like. 
shut up in here week in, week out with a monstrosity. They don't pay me very much, you know. I shall never get rich waiting after you. And no one speaks to me unless they have to. And you know why, Sarah? Because they think something evil must rub off on me being with you day in, day out. Perhaps it does. Maybe they're right. I sometimes wonder whether I exist at all. I sometimes wonder whether I shall go mad. Shut in here. Why do you never look at me? You look at me! Turn round, wear the glass. I am still here. At least the mirror tells me that. Augusta Vaux, 37 years old. Penniless, spinster, a servant. Oh. But I am a beautiful woman. Beautiful, smooth, white skin. Do you not find me beautiful, Sarah? Do you? Tell me, do you? Oh, yes, yes. And beautiful faces need mirrors, Sarah. So today I shall spend with my own reflection. Better bury your head, dear. The mirrors are coming out to play. There. What a difference it makes to the room. I feel better already. I wish that you could see it. But you can't, of course. Poor Sarah. If ever you look in a mirror, we know what would happen, don't we? What would happen, Sarah? What would happen first? The glass would crack. I don't hear you. Louder, please. Again. What would happen first? The glass would crack. That's better. Yes. The glass would crack. And then, Sarah, then... Oh, no, please, the devil... The devil would get you. Who is it? Who's there?
your eyes remind me of hers. Even hateful. Better bury your head, dear. The lures are coming after you. We know what will happen. Know if she's listening. Listen to me, Mum. Something's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. You must listen to me. Vinci. Vinci. the water. Oh, Dory don't cry. No, she does. Screeches. Cool. If you could hear her. You're her instantly if the wind's blowing the right way. That's what I feel like doing. Screeching. Didn't mind because I was freaked, you know. Don't you think it? I know. I ain't never freaked. Not nothing. I know. We gotta get her out. Sarah. Ain't we? We gotta get her out. We've got to get you out. Something to do with the moon doll, I reckon. Yes. Into moon time. Moon time? No mags. No mackerel. No beatings. You mean? Never to go back, ever. Here, what are you staring at? Sorry, <laughs> just making sure you're real. Don't start that again. You ain't half rum. Rummy's girl I know. Set to Doria, of course. Good, they're both real. And Sarah. I'm six foot flying. The moon's made of green cheese, and I'll be six foot high yet. And my name ain't Teddy Larkin. What? What did you say? What? What did you say your name was? Teddy Larkin, of course. But you said it was Tom. Tom shot Fred, what you said. That's right. Same as yours is a minute short for Penelope. That was a joke. <sighs> Look, I'm Teddy Larkin, see? But kicking boys here is called Tom. See? You mean all kitchen boys? That's right. Gotta be. Someone yells Tom, and that means kitchen boys. And we all come running. See? That's terrible. Don't you mind? He gets used to it. Three of us here. All Toms. All what's your name? Get called that and all. What's your name? I think I'm gonna go on having to call you Tom. That's what you ask me now. Do you mind? Of course not. Why should I? But to me, you're a proper Tom, not just a kitchen one. Tom, do 
tonight. We'll meet Brother Moondial. Will you do it? Try. That always works. I do it. But it's working better all the time. It's as if... If you really need it to, it will. Not just now. Come in for you. Tell you about Dory. You needed me. Like I needed you the first time we met. And Sarah. Need us both. Midnight then. On the stroke by the moon dial. I shall take the key with me. That'll be the safest thing. Oh, there you are, Minty. Miss Raven's going on a ghost hunt tonight. I shall wear my special ghost hunting outfit. I shall fetch it for you to see. She really is rather strange. Can she really see ghosts, do you think? I shouldn't be surprised. I think she's a witch. Oh, Minty. There. Very nice. It has a hood, too. There. It's a perfect disguise. Shouldn't it be white? White? Whatever do you mean? For a ghost. Aren't they usually dressed in white? <laughs> I'm not trying to be a ghost. Silly child. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were. Think. I am anonymous. I could come from any age in this costume. Ghosts are sensitive, you see, and very easily frightened. If one did see me, it would simply assume that I was from his own time. Now do you understand? What a sensible idea, Miss Raven. The steward of the house has been frightfully helpful. I can go anywhere in the house that I please. Make sure you don't look in a mirror. What? What did you say? Oh, it's just something I heard. That if you see a ghost in the mirror, then the devil gets you. Minty. I never heard of such a thing. Minty, whatever made you say such a thing? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Upsetting her like that. She did seem rather upset. I wonder why. Oh, I shall be glad when she's gone. <laughs> so shall I. <laughs> when will she go, anyway? Oh, at any time. She said she never stayed anywhere long. She said... No, what was it? Oh, yes. She came and went when the spirit moved her. It's going to be tonight, Mum. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But something. I can feel it in my bones. And, Mum, I think I'm going to go somewhere very dangerous tonight. I'm not sure I'll ever come back. Never to grow up. Stay a child forever. Oh, strange. A talisman. That's what I need. A charm. Something to protect us. Keep us safe. But what? That's it.
من اي Shadows by turns, but always love. the ghost of Araminta Cain. Do as I say, and you will not be harmed. I'm afraid I'm off. She ain't a ghost. Who's that other one? Get him. Yeah, let's get him. Soon, the clock will strike midnight. Midnight on Halloween. 
do as I say. Go back to the pool and drop your lanterns in the water. And as the clock begins to strike, shut your eyes. If you open them again before the last stroke, then... The devil will get you! Quick! Before it's too late! up a mirror. I want you to look into it. Don't be afraid. That's me. That's you, Sarah. I'm beautiful. Oh, you are. You are. And this mirror. It didn't crack. Of course it didn't. Sarah!
free at last. Thank you. Hello, Maisie. Hi. In you go, then. She's up at the far end. Hello, Maisie. Don't expect miracles all at once, will you? Say hello to her. I'll be back in a minute. Thanks. Thank you. Mum, it's Minty. Have you been listening to my story? About Tom and Sarah and the moon dial. It's all over now. Finished. They've gone. Of course she didn't. She took Mr. Jones's taxi to the station. Did she have a big ginger cat on her shoulder? Oh. <laughs> really? I mean, do the things you say. I must say, you look quite different this morning. You look quite washed clean. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say. I expect it's the good news about your mother. Oh. Everything's good news. It's Belton. It's magic. So I was right. You did have the key. Yes, it's done. They're free. Well done, then. Well done, Adam Winter Kane. Oh, and world. My mother. She's opened her eyes and said my name. Why shouldn't she? Oh, I'm glad. I am glad. So the work's done. Yes. I'm just going down to the gardens. Tie up loose ends. Yes. You bring that mother of yours to see me when she's on her feet again. I've got a thing or two to tell her. But I expect she knows already she's got a good one. Bye-bye.
Mr. Raven. And Mr. Fall. It was Halloween last night. Edward Larkin. 